The Orlando Museum of Art, or OMA, filed a lawsuit against former president and CEO Aaron de Croft and others involved in relation to the forgery scheme run by the group. The FBI raided the art museum last year over an exhibit of John Michel Basquiat paintings, which turned out to be forgeries. The lawsuit said that the 99-year-old museum was under probation by the American Alliance of Museums due to the incident. OMA was the first institution to display more than two dozens of artworks that have been found in an old storage locker after Basquiat's death in 1988. The federal warrant from the museum stated questions arose on the artwork's authenticity after their discovery in 2012. The owner of the storage locker and television writer, Todd Mumford, told investigators that he never owned any Basquiat artworks. Meanwhile, former Los Angeles auctioneer Michael Brisman pleads guilty to federal charges for making false statements to the FBI. He admitted that both of his accomplices had created the fake artwork and falsely added the painting to Basquiat collection. DeGroft still insists that the art from last year's exhibit were legitimate.